Watch you guys got another video. This is the all new Elite Mini UM890 Pro by Minis Forum. It's probably one of the best mini PCs you can buy on the market today. Here's everything you're going to get inside the box. You're going to get your mount, so you can mount this to a monitor. You're going to get your HDMI cable. You're going to get your power cable here for your country. And you're going to get your 120 watt power adapter here, which goes into the back of the mini PC itself. You're going to get your literature here, your guarantee and everything else. And you're going to get your mini PC and your Oculink here. Now, this is a really nice, unique little feature here. You can put this into one of the M.2 slots here because there is two M.2 slots on this device. So it's going to take up a storage slot, but it just allows you to put a, an external graphics card. Let's take a look at the full specs here. AMD Ryzen 9 8945S, which has got eight cores, 16 threads. Base clock is 4.0 gigahertz. Boost clock right up to 5.2 gigahertz. Radeon 780M iGPU if you want to use the built-in GPU, and it goes up to 2,800 megahertz. This version is the 32 gigabyte version, but it can be upgraded up to 96 gigabytes of DDR5 at 5,600 megahertz. We also have two M.2 2280 slots, which is going to support our NVMe SSDs. We have Wi-Fi 6 on here, and we also have Bluetooth 5.2, and it does come pre-installed with Windows 11 on the system. You can obviously install whatever operating system you like, but it does come with Windows 11. So let's take a look at the mini PC itself. As you can see, Minis Forum have done a really nice job at designing this. We do have a magnetic top on here. On the front, we do have that power button. We also have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, and we also have our audio jack in here. We have also a USB 4 on here as well. And just to the right of the power button, we do have that clear CMOS uh, button on there as well. Let's take a look at the sides of the mini PC. We've got some ventilation on this side, and we also have ventilation on the other side as well. Moving on to the back of the unit itself, we have that big exhaust fan there. We have the Oculink, which has a little cover in it. We also have two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, our 19 volt power input here. We also have a HDMI port. Now that HDMI port is 2.1. And we also have another USB 4 port and a DP 1.4 version a DP port there. Also, we have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports on the back here as well. Now, this means you can have multiple monitors on this mini PC as well. Also with that Oculink. Uh, port there we can put an external graphics card on here so let's remove the top it is uh, magnetic so you can remove it here and here we have the top lid here so easy access to this mini pc there will be four bolts that you need to remove to gain access to inside but you can actually see inside here and there is our fan right here i'll quickly show you a quick peek inside here i'm not going to strip it all the way down because there's quite a few little antennas and wires here and I don't fancy putting all those back and I haven't done any testing yet. So let me quickly remove these four bolts here and these are the four bolts or screws and we can remove those and this will gain access to inside. And I'll just quickly show you here, you can see the memory in here, dual channel memory, crucial brand. We have a, a Kingston drive in here as well and you can see that spare M.2 area here for your Oculink if you wanted to populate that or you wanted to use another drive inside here as well for more storage depending on what way you want to go about doing it but i can't really sort of take it apart because there's all these little cables here and i don't fancy putting all those back i need to get benchmarking so you can see what this can actually do i'll probably do a follow-up video of this with an oculink so you can see what it's like with an external graphics card let me know in the comments section below whether you want to see that particular type of video so let's run cinebench here and i'll also put up the temperatures here which i want to show you because i'm pretty sure this is the most important part for you whether this gets really hot and you can see here minis forum have gone all out here and this is super cool it's not running hot it's not going in the red and this is exactly what you expect to see from a mini pc you don't want any uh, overheating or red 
going up here. And you can see it's coping with this particular type of stress test. So really good job from Minis Forum. And this means when you're playing games and doing other heavy duty tasks like rendering videos or playing games, it's not going to overheat and it's not going to get uh, super hot. And that's really important for a mini PC, I think. So they've done a great job at keeping those temps down. Now inside the BIOS, you can set this to performance mode. I've got it left as default as balance mode. And there's some other settings in there you can tweak to get even more performance out of it. But you can see the CPU multi-core score was 16,243, which is pretty good. I'll do the CPU single core as well, so you can actually see what scores we get. And we do get 1,775 points, which is pretty impressive. And it is, remember, a Ryzen 9 8945HS with that Radeon 780M graphics. So we're using internal great graphics here. Let's quickly test the speed of the NVMe drive here so we can see what sort of speed you get. The reads are 4810.89 and the writes are 3893.39. So let's take a look at CPU-Z and you can see we've got a max TDP of 45 watts here and it gives you all of the stats for that particular CPU that we have in here. So let's go ahead and we'll go to the main board because some people always ask about the main board. There's your main board here. Uh, the bus specs is PCI Express 4.0. And you can see we do have the memory readouts here. So let me just quickly show you the memory. I did mention it earlier, but we'll go through here just to show you. And I'll run a quick stress test on CPU-Z as well. And I'll show you the decibels of the unit when it's running at full tilt. So you can see here, there is your full specifications your memory and let's go to graphics and as i've already said 780m graphics on this one so let me go ahead and do a quick benchmark here and we'll do a quick test of this and i'll show you in decibels what this actual unit does i'm pretty impressed with the noise it wasn't that loud under full load and i've reviewed a lot of mini pcs and some of them are like jet engines once they get up to full speed so let's go ahead and put the benchmark on here and what I'll do is I'll go side by side so you can see the temperatures are really good, as you well know. And we're going to go down and I'll quickly show you down on the um, that decibel meter here. Now, my room is a little bit noisy, so it might be picking up a little bit of background noise. They are super sensitive, but you can see it is running here. And there is the readout here. Let me just power it on. And you can see at the front of the device, once it settles, 38.9 and it's just flicking onto 40. But remember, that's going to be picking up the background noise in that room as well. So that's pretty low for a mini PC. And let me put it round near the back of the fan here, the exhaust fan, to see whether we're getting any super loud noise. And you can see 43.3 there. So not too bad for a mini PC under full load. So let's go for Jellyfish 400 Mbps 4K Ultra HD HEVC 10-bit file here. And we'll see whether it plays this file with ease. I'm pretty sure it will do with a Ryzen 9 in here. You can see silky smooth, no problems whatsoever, no jerkiness, silky smooth playback. And this means that you can play all your movies and all your other stuff here. So let me just quickly do a stop start test here to see how quick it starts. I'm going to go back and give it a second or two and it's straight up. Just like so, very quick and easy. So really good, impressive playback for video format. Let's move on to some benchmarks to show you some of the benchmark scores here. We're going to do Time Spy here and we'll see what sort of score we get. We get 3,391 with an excellent score. The graphics score was 3,016 and the CPU score was 11,495 on Time Spy on 3D Mark. Pretty impressive. Uh, for a mini PC. We'll also do a GPU test for onboard graphics, and I'll quickly show you that as well. Now, of course, if you run that Oculink on here with an external graphics card, you're going to get a double the score of this, no problem at all. But you can see Night Raid score was 31,736 with a legendary score, and the CPU score there was 16,719 with the graphic score up there as well, 37,714. But the one to look at is the legendary score, 31,736, which is pretty good for a built-in graphics. So remember, if you do that Oculink on this and use an external graphics card if you wanted to, it's going to be a bit of a Frankenstein setup, but you will get really good performance for external. 
So we're going to be testing with the onboard graphics here, and this is Far Cry Primal, and we're going to be testing this one. You can see pretty smooth. I didn't put the graph up on this one because I don't want to be coming across as trying to sell this as an out and out gaming system because I just wanted to show you that it can play games. There was the odd bit of tearing and a little bit of stutter here and there, but again, it's pretty smooth and it's playable. And this system is really decent for gaming if you wanted to play games. Even with the built-in GPU, it's very capable of doing that. Let's move on to The Witcher here. And I'm just going to do a quick movement here to see whether it's capable of playing The Witcher. And uh, we'll see what it's like. You might get the odd micro stutter here and there. But again, this is quite a graphic intense game. And uh, it's playable. You could actually play this. It's pretty smooth. Uh, for a mini PC, if I'm honest. But you may need to tweak the graphics settings and turn them down and turn the resolution down because this is quite an intense game. Now, when it comes to retro games, this uh, system has no problem at all playing retro games. If you wanted to play retro games and upscale them, you could do, and it should have no issues whatsoever. You just need to tweak your settings and get it just right, and you should be perfectly fine to play a lot of these this is um, Gods of War. Again, pretty decent game. And you can play that on this mini PC, no problem at all. And I'll go through some other little retro games here for you as well. So you can actually see what they're like. So you know what you're getting into if you're thinking about purchasing a mini PC. If I was out in the market for a mini PC, I would certainly be taking a good strong look at the Minis Forum Elite Mini UM890. Now, now, before we get all the trolls coming in the comments section saying this is a sponsored video, this this product was sent for review by Minis Forum. All the opinions are my own. No one is reviewing this video before it's released. So just to be clear that it was sent to me from Minis Forum, but that doesn't change my opinion on it. It is probably one of the best mini PCs that I've tested to date. It's a pretty decent uh, mini PC all round. So if you're needing something for productivity as well, like rendering videos and stuff like that, this will have no problem at all because it has plenty of processing power, plenty of memory inside here, and you can upgrade that memory as well. So if you may be looking to downsize from that desktop PC, this mini PC is plenty capable of doing all of your needs, like some light gaming, some video editing, uh, some watching your movies, and also YouTube browsing and stuff like that. It can easily do all of that and more. And if you do want to get into, say, proper gaming, like hardcore gaming, then you could still use that Oculink and basically use an external graphics card and use that. It, it does work very, very well. If you want to see a video on that Oculink, I haven't covered that yet, and I'd be interested to see and show you guys how that works. And you can see... How powerful it is this will turn this little mini pc into an absolute beast with that oculink connection but i must say it is actually a beast already without that external gpu because the built-in gpu on this is pretty decent so how much does it all cost well it does cost around about as you can see 469 pounds that's for the bare bones but if you put added your drive and your memory in here it does jump up to 719 pounds which is a pretty decent deal if you ask me Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.